Excuse me, can you take a photo of me? Sure, but you know, if you had the new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6, you could snap your own hands-free selfies. Really? Watch. I just flex it to the perfect angle, set it down, and FlexCam with Galaxy AI automatically zooms for the perfect shot. Whoa. Post-worthy. New profile pic-worthy. Flex the newest Galaxy AI foldable, Z Flip 6. Get yours now at Samsung.com. Samsung account login required. FlexCam length varies and is shorter than standard zoom length. Galaxy AI provided free until end of 2025 on supported devices. Today on CityCast Boise, it's easy to feel stuck in the monotony of everyday living. Dishes, bills, and laundry don't feel glamorous. But local influencer Rosie Piper is explaining how she's slowing down and romanticizing her Boise life and why that has completely changed her perspective on the Treasure Valley. It's Tuesday, September 17th. I'm Lindsay Van Allen, and this is what Boise's talking about. Rosie, there's been this trend towards the idea of people romanticizing their lives. What does romanticizing our lives mean? To me, it means you're finding the joy in the mundane things of life, the things that people might consider boring or maybe they just like find as like their day to day task. Just finding like the simple joys in life is what romanticizing life is to me. So so when you talk about these mundane tasks, is it like finding joy in doing dishes, or maybe finding joy in just the experiences you can have within your city? Maybe not doing dishes. It's really hard <laughs> to find joy in chores. But I mean, it is a privilege to have a home to clean. So I always think of that those things as well. But more so, I think like my daily tasks that I just maybe autopilot through, like making my coffee or making my breakfast, taking my dog on a walk instead of just like doing them and not really thinking of like the action that I'm doing. I really like take it in and be like, oh, like I'm finally at this age where I'm taking care of myself and I get to make my like cup of coffee and I get to take my dog on a walk and all those different things. And definitely when it comes to like being out in like Boise, as simple as it is of like going in, like physically going to get a cup of coffee or picking up my breakfast again, like really recognizing that that's like a fun thing to do and like something that I probably like my younger self would have looked forward to trying to really like actually take in those moments versus just like bypassing through them and just living life. Yeah. And what what got you started with romanticizing different parts of your life? Well, I really realized I liked to watch people online that were doing very normal things. And I realized that the videos I kept gravitating towards were people that were like vlogging their everyday mornings like either before work or what their workday looked like. And I was like really intrigued by it. And I was like, well, I wonder if I did this, if people would be interested as well. And I feel like a lot of people do gravitate towards just like those like normal everyday living moments. Like even if I post like when I'm traveling or anything, like people don't care as much because they're like, no, I want you like back at your house where you're like doing like your everyday tasks. Um, So yeah, just kind of realized that that's what I was liking. And so I just decided to start trying to do that myself. Why do you think it is that, I I will include myself with this group, that we like to watch people do normal things, living life? I I will, you know, joke with my kids, like, go outside. Like, you're watching other people live their lives. Um, What do you think it is that really draws us to that? I think at the core of it all is it is, like, relatable in a sense. So, and people love to feel like they can relate to something And so when they're watching someone clean their house or watching someone make their kids breakfast, they're like, well, I just did that this morning too. And that's kind of what it looked like for me. They feel like a sense of like comfort in that. And I do feel like that's why a lot of people do gravitate towards content like that is because it's like comforting, it's cozy, it feels normal, especially in like the like daily fuzz and loudness of people like doing all these very expensive, glamorous things. It's nice to watch people just like live no, like normal, mundane lives. Um, so that's what I think is like why people are gravitating towards that. Do you think that romanticizing or this idea of romanticizing is maybe a modern rebrand of being grateful or looking for the little things in life to be thankful for? Or are there ways it's different? It probably is in a lot of ways, just a rebrand of that. Um, because I think that also like the newer generation likes the idea of like romanticizing every little moment in life. Like 
I see people people posting like romanticizing, yeah, like doing my dishes or romanticizing cleaning my carpets. And you're like, okay, that's interesting. I didn't know we could do that. But it's like trying to maybe, yeah, like really be grateful for the life that you have. And I, I try to think that way like every day um, because it helps me just have a better day when I'm not like thinking like, oh my gosh, I have to do all these things. It's like, I mean, I, I get to live in a great house in a great neighborhood and I get to provide for my family. And those are like, so yeah, in a way, just reframing it and romanticizing just sounds a little bit more fun. And it does sound a little bit more glamorous than just like the standard quote in your grandma's kitchen, like be appreciative of the little things in life and all that stuff. No, it definitely does. Yeah. More than just like, okay, be grateful for what you have. Romanticize definitely, romanticize definitely had a better PR. Oh yeah. It just sounds a little nicer. You're like, I could see that on a shirt and you're like, okay, that looks, that sounds nice. Excuse me, can you take a photo of me? Sure, but you know, if you had the new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6, you could snap your own hands-free selfies. Really? Watch, I just flex it to the perfect angle, set it down, and flex cam with Galaxy AI automatically zooms for the perfect shot. Whoa, post-worthy. New profile pic-worthy. Flex the newest Galaxy AI foldable, Z Flip 6. Get yours now at Samsung.com. Samsung account login required. Flex cam length varies and is shorter than standard zoom length. Galaxy AI provided free until end of 2025 on supported devices. Now, two pigeons bemoaning the fact you can stream DirecTV satellite-free. These humans can stream all the top-rated national news channels on DirecTV, and now with no satellite dish. This just in. Weather, sports, election coverage. DirecTV has it all, but something is missing. The satellite dish. What are you doing? I'm reporting the news. Back to you, Bob. Here's some news. You're a buffoon. Stream the top-rated national news channels. No satellite dish. Visit directtv.com. Internet required. Top rated news based on 2023 Nielsen ratings. So what are some of the ways that you're romanticizing your life in the Treasure Valley? Um, Well, I just also love everything about the Treasure Valley. So really everything that I get to do feels a little bit romantic to my day to day. When I'm solo, I love going and grabbing a coffee. My favorite coffee shop is Mountain Timber. I know they have a location downtown. I'm closer to the Meridian location and they always have great coffee, great breakfast burritos. And that's like a treat to me because I normally don't make my, or I normally make my coffee at home. So getting it out and about is like a fun romantic treat to me. Um, Other things that I like to do are as simple as like going down to Hyde Park and like the North End, like walking the streets. I literally will like look at all the houses down there and like dream of living in them one day and like oh, what would my life look like if I lived there? And like just walking up and down the streets. I mean, really, there's so many things in the Treasure Valley that seem simple, like going on a walk on the green belt or like perusing a local store um, that, again, I feel like people just think are normal tasks. But if you really think about where you're at in your life, it does feel kind of special. And I'm really curious, what are maybe some unexpected things that you've found in Boise or the Treasure Valley or realized about living here since you started romanticizing your life? Well, I think that it's interesting because I'm born and raised here, um, which a lot of people don't think I'm from this area. Every time I post, they like, well, people will tell me to go back to California or whatever. And I'm like, I actually am born and raised here. But I used to think Boise was boring. I used to always think like in high school, like I will get out of Boise. I won't live here like after college. Like there's not opportunity here. There's nothing to do here. And really in like the more recent years, I think I've been, well, one Boise has just gotten bigger. So there is just more fun activities and opportunity in the area in general, but also Boise is just really cool. There's a lot of history here. Um, It's beautiful. You get all like four seasons. So there's like stuff to do all throughout the year. The people are so nice. Um, The restaurants are so good that it's like just as simple as like if I'm going downtown one morning and like going to pick up a book at Rediscovered Books and grabbing coffee downtown. I'm like, that's really cool. And it's not super busy compared to bigger cities, but you still get a city feel that I feel like I just appreciate Boise more a lot as I've, I've gotten older and like been more established in this area. Yeah, it sounds like instead of, you know, taking things for granted, it's really, you know, recognizing how wonderful different aspects of living here can be when you just stop and focus on it. For sure. It's it's a privilege to live in a place like as beautiful as this and to, you know, get to live your life as an adult and make really cool, like independent decisions. So 
like when I have a Saturday morning off and I get to decide like, okay, am I going to just like, do I want to walk the dog around the neighborhood or do we want to go up into the foothills and then like grab a breakfast sandwich at like certified kitchen and then like walk around like Hyde Park. Like there's just like, it's fun. Like I feel like it makes living more fun when you like think of it in like a, in a different light versus just as like a, I don't know, probably like a negative perspective on the day to day. Yeah. And living here can feel really heavy sometimes, or it can Mm -hmm. feel like a lot. Um, So what are some ways that people in the Treasure Valley can slow down and really connect with the city that they love and they live in? What, What are some ways people can romanticize Boise? Yeah, I love that because I definitely struggle with slowing down. Um, I'm a very fast paced person um, working two jobs and just I love the go, go, go. But I do try to be very intentional with slowing down because I can feel my body's like stress and tension. So a lot of the times I do a lot of like time of slowing down when me and my husband are off. So we'll like look at like our evenings that we have off or the weekend dates that we have off and um, plan some Boise activities. And a lot of the time it really is simple as like getting outside. I feel like that is, again, one of my favorite things about Boise is that we have really beautiful seasons and just like the nature in general. So as simple as like going on a hike, walking the green belt, like stopping into breweries along the way, um, like going and sitting in a park, like having a picnic, um, no phones, just like music and just like actually talking to each other. There's so much beautiful scenery in this area, as well as, I mean, like you can even be a little bit more extra, pay a little bit more money, go have like a nice dinner somewhere. We're about into the fall time, which I feel like is the ultimate cozy time, which I was was going to, yeah, yeah, no, I was definitely going to ask you maybe. (laughs) Oh, perfect. Maybe fall has some really specific or you have some specific fall ways people could look forward to romanticizing Boise and really enjoying the fall here. Yes, I I love fall. It's my favorite season. I wish it just lasted longer. I just want like that mild temperature with the leaves changing, the air's so crisp. Um, And so I love that in Boise because I feel like I like to romanticize my life with just like truly like cozy feelings, whether that's being like cuddled up in my house or like getting cozied up and going and grabbing like coffee and walking around or doing like fall activities like a pumpkin patch and going out and like getting a cozy meal. Like one of my favorite meals to get during the fall is going to Bitter Creek and getting their steak sandwich. Mm -hmm. Like they have like an au jus with it and it is so good. I'm like, I don't want that in the summertime when it's like hot. No. But I want that when it's like chilly outside, the sun setting earlier. Like the fall is truly like, I think the best time to do stuff like that. Cause even as simple as just like walking through the leaves in the fall just feels like I don't know, you feel like a kid again mm-hmm. and like you like all the smells feel really nostalgic. I, and then obviously it leads you into the like holiday season, which again is like nostalgia, just punching you straight in the face all the time. So I just love this season for just like being cozy and making your life feel really joyful. What What are some of your tips for people who are interested in looking into romanticizing their life or really kind of want to change their mindset about that? What What's a good place for people to start? I really would start with as simple as like your morning routine. So many people just get up out of bed, maybe brush their teeth, splash some water on their face and get to work. Like a lot of people don't take a lot of time to take care of themselves as simple as like if it's your morning skincare, whatever that looks like, like making your bed, um, cultivating a routine that you can actually do every morning that doesn't feel like overwhelming, but you look forward to these tasks that like feel special to you. Um, I've been trying to get into journaling. So like trying to sit outside and have like my morning coffee, like no phone, just like listening to like the noises of outside as I journal, even if it takes me five minutes of my day, it's like dedicating just a little bit of time to myself before I'm giving my whole energy to someone else. I love that. I think, yeah, the perfect place to start might be at the start of your day. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Rosie. I think these are some fantastic tips and ways to maybe just look at life a little bit differently. I feel like it's helped me a lot with my mindset. It it is, again, like I live a very normal life. I also don't have like kids. I only have a dog. So I know that my mornings might look a lot different than other people's. But whatever your mornings and days look like, just trying to find like the simple joys in it, I think really does make you feel a lot better. That's all for today here on CityCast Boise. If you enjoyed the episode, we would love it if you would tell a friend about the show. We'll be back tomorrow morning with an interview about the secret lives of Mormon wives. You won't want to miss it. 
I have like so many flies in my house. Same. Same. <laughs> and they're driving. I, I, mean, I don't know how to romanticize the flies. <laughs> no, 